Hello everybody, this is uh, Stephen the man with a hat and today I find myself right down in Norfolk. I'm in Kings Lynn and this Aster is South Wharton at Kings Lynn and uh, I've been here a few times and it's always quite clean because it's only a very very small car park but as I was walking into the store I noticed in the trolley park all the trolleys were stuck together with pound coins and right in the middle was this really long receipt and it's got red wine, white wine and gin and I know these prices are cheaper somewhere else so I had to get it out would you believe it? I was so lucky the actual trolley I needed to get unlocked wasn't locked with a pound coin I just pulled them apart and whittled it out and the people standing right next to me at the ATM machine was wondering what the heck I was doing anyway um, I'm making my way from Norfolk up to the Yorkshire coast to Scarborough Green. It's quite a long journey and I should be going over the Humber Bridge via the A15 Lincoln area and I'll be stopping at a couple of Asda's in Lincoln and two or three just over the other side of the Humber Bridge. Whilst I'm here in Norfolk I just want to give a shout out to my father Peter who sadly has just um, not only got terminal cancer but uh, five weeks ago had a massive stroke and he's now in a hospice and he was lucky to make today Father's Day. So uh, I wanted to give him a shout out and mention his name. He likes to watch my videos whenever he can. Mum plays them for him and this one's for you Dad. Catch you later. Yeah, i just done the Asta Price Guarantee with me little old mother here watching. She says, how does that there work then? So I took all that time to show her. She says, well, I don't shop at Asda. <laughs> What's the point of that? Anyway, we got a voucher for three pound twelve p, didn't we? Yes, we we did for. Well, I we did. did, yeah, yeah, I we did, did, yeah. Four, we did. <laughs> yeah, she's here too. Right, we're heading north now, so I'll catch you later at the He's next Asda. Put that on the thingy, is it? Because if yeah. you, I'll kill him. Yeah, <laughs> this is going on YouTube. <laughs> she, oh God. <laughs> right, I've arrived, hatless, at my second Asda store today. This one is on the outskirts of Lincoln, LN six eight J Y and I'm just doing a perimeter walk there's not much wind so I've got to try and find out where the wind traps would normally be there's one there's two there's three there's four, four, that was not long enough, <coughs> do you mind appearing on video? Yeah, no, right. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People lose their vouchers all the time. What you need is to go onto the Asta Price Guarantee website mm -hmm. and you have a little bit where you put the barcode, which is this piece here. Mm -hmm. And as long as they've got at least eight items on there, yeah. and one of them is a comparable. Now a comparable is anything like ordinary household shopping, bread, milk, eggs, cheese. So if you did the price guarantee on their website with that barcode, and it's cheaper, it could have been cheaper somewhere else, you get your money back. They do a price match, plus they give you 10% on top. So that's how they get free money, as long as you've got access to a printer. Really? They print off the voucher. Because you've got to present the voucher with the receipt, and you can spend it in store. Oh, mm. that's good. Yeah? Oh, so you, just sir. keep your eye open for these vouchers. They're worth a lot of money. Yeah. Now, if somebody told me there's no point in going to Lincoln because it's always picked clean. Plus, I've educated a couple of young lads on how to womble and make extra money for themselves. It ain't my territory, and I'd like to show people how to womble anyway. So, uh, I'm now off to Lincoln Asda, number two. Right, I've now arrived with a hat this time. And as the number three, the second one in Lincoln as LN2. And I'm now going to try and find a weenie corner here, but sadly it's a very, very small Asda. But on the pavement, I've already seen one receipt. And it's a good one. There you go. Uh-huh. There's another one. Oh look, I've just wobbled the book. Let's move on from 
Lincoln number two and get over the Humber Bridge and start looking on that side of the river. Now we're just approaching the River Humber and the Humber Bridge and for those of you who like bridges, look at this! I've now crossed the Humber Bridge and arrived at Asda in Hessel. What I've got to do now is to find the windy corners. This is definitely the windy corner, lots of rubbish here, but no receipts. You win some, you lose some. Right, I've arrived at another Asda, not far away from Hull City Centre, and I found a receipt which I'm going to struggle to get. I've tracked down the windy corner, which is not the car park, but the receipt is in there. Well, I've got this one. Well, I only got one more behind the air conditioning unit, and um, now I'm just checking the hedge line. This is along the back of Asda, so again, not in the main car park, which is clean. Well, I managed to fish out this one, but it expired on the 4th of March, so that's three months out of date. Never mind. Well, I've arrived at the next supermarket in Hull. A teeny weeny one. Well, I've arrived at the last Asda on my route. This one at Bilton is called Ark Royal. It's huge. And here's two. Lovely, I'll have those. That one looked like a little one, but it wasn't. It was a good size. Uh, looks like another one just down this banking. Yep. That's a good one. And there's another one. Well, it's now next day and I find myself in Bridlington. Uh, yesterday's long haul, the 341 miles, is a trip that I have to make on a regular basis to visit family. Um, so I thought I would do it around the Asda stores and it wasn't very productive. After I got rid of all the receipts which were uh, too few items and had no comparables on, etc, etc. I probably handed a five or six vouchers which produced a total of £8.9, pence. so not a great deal. It certainly wouldn't have covered my fuel if I was doing it as a special trip. Um, but luckily, of course, you can organise anywhere you go around routes which have various stores you can wobble at. Today, as I said, I'm at Morrison's in Bridlington, and we need to refresh our supplies. So, at the moment, I'm sheltering in this um, trolley bay because it's raining and windy. But, as it's windy, and Bridlington is quite a large car park, I'm just going to go and try and track down the windy corner. Well, good news and bad news. Um, the windy corner I found in this particular Morrison's uh, is actually quite clean. However, if you keep your eyes peeled, you can see that underneath this area in the corner, where there's the uh, recycling, underneath that blue one, there's a small gap. And I've just taken two receipts out of there, and this one has got 1,580 points I can put on my card. Um, the date was the 12th of June, so with, I'm, I'm within the period that I can put the points on. So I'm going to do that right now. Off we go. Well, at the end of this video, I've managed to womble yesterday £8.09 from eight uh, Asta stores, which isn't very good. Um, £4.36 today from two receipts on the Match and More at Morrison's and in the car park I've just found a coffee bean on a McDonald's cup towards another free coffee. So that's it, hope to catch you later. See ya!